Hello, today I would like to talk about a controller, a temperature controller which is built around a logo, Siemens logo PLC. As you see this uh, temperature controller has a panel that by which we can start stop the system and also we can uh, change the status to put it in uh, auto or manual uh, mode and when it is on manual mode we can turn either hot water or cold water valve on and off when it is on manual mode we can turn the switch down to turn on uh, cold water and or we can switch it to hot water valve. In this case, uh, hot water valve is on and uh, the, the temperature is going to go up continuously. As you see, this system has consisted of a logo, an expansion module, a transmitter, and also logo TD which is displaying the PV and SV temperatures. I have also connected the sensor, PT100 sensor, to, a, to the transmitter, to the input of the transmitter, and some water here, and also in the uh, bottom, there is a, a small electrical uh, oven, and uh, by which I can turn uh, the temperature of water, uh, increase the temperature. Simply, to start the process, we can uh, push the start button. The light inside the button turns on. That means uh, uh, right now the system has started and backlight is on. And in this case, system is waiting for the operator to either push function one or function two. Function one is a, a process that heats up the temperature of the container uh, by, a, by some steps uh, on the curve. Uh, and during that, uh, uh, from step to step, it tends to increase the temperature. Function two is a, a constant temperature. Uh, it takes about two hours and uh, it tries to keep the temperature of the uh, container, uh, water in the container, to 80 degrees centigrade. When you push uh, F1, as you see right now, it says that uh, temperature uh, sensor uh, uh, is sending to the system is 21, and uh, but set temperature, set value is curve temperature is 25. So because uh, the temperature on uh, the sensor is lower than SV, so it uh, turns on the uh, hot water valve uh, right now and this LED indicator, red one, shows that uh, the, the heater is turned on right now. As time passes, uh, the temperature is uh, going to go up and then controller is going to follow uh, whatever the uh, time temperature curve is uh, saying and uh, of course all this data is included in, in the program of the ladder logic program uh, which is downloaded to this uh, logo. On the display logo TD you see that the time is about one minute pass and we are on auto mode and of course F1 function. To come out of, uh, to come out of uh, this uh, process, 
we can push stop uh, the process button and then uh, uh, to return on the uh, system, the start the system and then here again this time uh, push uh, F2 function F2 function and this way uh, you're gonna see that uh, system is in auto but F2 mode and uh, and it, uh, the curve says that it has to be 80 degree but the uh, temperature on the sensor is reported as 22 centigrade degree and uh, so the outside the, the hot water valve is turned on and system is going to keep the temperature around 80 degree in, in, in liter by liter. And when we, as I said before, uh, by putting the hammer switch down, we can uh, go to auto, to, to manual mode. And in this case, right now, uh, cold water valve is turned on. And because the, the contactor, uh, the, the relay, this is a relay module, so you hear the, vo the, the noise coming from on and off of the, the, the relay. And when I, when I put the, the hammer switch up, so the hot water valve is turned on. All this information that I talked about uh, comes in the book and, and an e-book. So please to receive uh, some more information about the, how the program is developed, go to the website and check it out. Thanks for watching my video.